Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt. I've been practicing hardcore holistic nutrition since 1998. And along the way, I've learned a lot of amazing information. And it's kind of ironic that a lot of the truthful information that when I apply it in the practice, it works, but yet it's the opposite of what you see on TV and what the conventional medicine says. And maybe you're not surprised by me saying that. But in this blog, I hit a lot of different subjects. And I just released a blog. And in this blog, I hit a lot of different subjects. And in this quick video, I just want to share with you, one of the subjects has to do with meat. And some people think that meat is bad, and all the institutions say that meat is bad. So we're talking the dietitians, nutritionists, medical doctors, the CDC, the NIH, the university professors, and the cooks and the chefs at the schools and the military. And there's reasons why they think it's bad. And, and I go into that in this free ebook but for this blog, I just want to share with you that meat is super important to eat, especially red meat. It's red because it has heme iron in it, and heme iron brings oxygen and iron to your muscles. Your muscles are the largest organ in your body. It also has myoglobin, which is related to delivering uh, oxygen to your muscles. And there's fat-soluble vitamins in meat that you can't find in plants, vitamins A, D, E, and K. And there's also vitamin F that not many, too many people talk about. And um, animal food has cholesterol in it. Cholesterol is a very important nutrient. It's the beginning blocks of all your hormones. Animal saturated fat is way more healthy than plant oils like seed oils. Those are polyunsaturated. Those are a disaster. They've been a disaster for our health. All the science shows that. The epidemiological studies do not show it because epidemiology is not a science. Also, meat has CoQ10, conjugated linoleic acid, and amino acids like creatine, carnitine, carnosine, and taurine. These are nutrients you can't find in plants. So you can find a little bit of CoQ10 in plants, but most of the CoQ10 comes from animal foods. So there's my little soapbox uh, few minutes on how important meat is. And so click on the link below, read the blog, get into the ebook. I have a lot of great information in this ebook and the free online video course. It took me many, many months to put this together. So uh, click on the link below and thank you.